on everybody? Welcome to my video today. Today we're going to be talking about the MA Performance Stage 1 tune um, for the 2015 Plus WRX. I recently purchased this tune for my car and I'm very excited to throw it on and test it and to compare it to the Cobb Stage 1 tune that I've been running for about the last year. Um, now ideally, ideally we would have some kind of track or autocross set up to do this because I would love to take it around a couple laps with the one tune, switch it over, test it with the next tune, try it like more runs to get some consistency but we don't have that so we're gonna go into back roads and check it out and just try it on everyday life driving it around and maybe some straight line stuff like merging under the highway or something like that to get our best feel for actual speed comparisons um, I am doing the refrigerator bowl at some point in February the track cross event there so that will be an awesome time to really really max it out with this car and test it on a track but I won't have the cop tune to test it against so um, we're going to do our best here. It's getting dark. Unfortunately, it's just a really lame day here. <laughs> or if you have a Subaru, it's a kind of a cool day. But we're going to go and drive it around and see if we can get some good results. Okay, so let's go ahead and load the tune up. So we're gonna go here, tune, change map, reflash, reflash. There it is. Well, that was scary. It said that. <laughs> It said that it couldn't be used on this, but I think my access port, or it couldn't be used on the version of the access port I was running, but I think my access port is just out of date. So we're gonna go ahead and update this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and update it. And hopefully, fingers crossed, this will do the trick. I can't imagine why it wouldn't. I think that my, I just, I literally haven't updated it since I bought it a year ago. Um, and I bought it huge from a guy who bought it three years before that, so it probably hasn't been updated since 2015, maybe? Yeah, so we'll see what happens. Successful. Let's please eject. Yes, 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 yes. Let's out of here. I'm gonna pop that out. Alright, let's try this again. Okay. Tune. Yep. Change the map. Yep. Alright, well let's go for a first startup at least. So I got my key here. I'm gonna go in. Neutral. Got our gauges here. And we're gonna let the car run for about a minute. Alright, so the tune is up. We've waited about a minute and we're gonna go ahead and start out driving nice and gently just to let it kind of learn. Um, let the ECU start learning the tune and kind of adjusting. So. Um, go ahead and flip these on and let's just start driving and see how you know throttle response and stuff like that is see if it's any different see if it's the same let's see how we feel Okay, I can already tell you it's different a little bit 
And I think it's just because after you drive the same tune for so long and so many miles, you just know every little nuance of it. And the throttle positioning and response and everything is a little bit different. It's not good or bad so far. I think it's just a little bit different. Actually, if anything, it feels good. It feels a little bit more responsive, which is cool. It feels a little bit more like sensitive and kind of like it responds to your inputs a little better. So um, we're gonna go straight across here. Here, please don't scrape. Okay, <laughs> low car problems on my dumb stock 17s. So, yeah, let's just cruise. Let's just cruise a little bit. So, we're gonna go ahead and head down this back road here. And uh, I have my phone here giving me directions, but we're gonna really take it easy because um, it's really getting icy out here, and I don't want to put it. I don't want to put the car under the woods. But initial punches and kind of like third gear pulls a little bit here and there um it really feels good the torque and whip, i mean i haven't really gotten in the high end yet so it's all torque and obviously yes there's a little bit of wheel spin but um the torque feels really good and very um the biggest difference is it feels very linear as the cob tune and the stock tune were very um turbo laggy almost you'd have like nothing and then everything and then nothing again <gasps> Frick, dude. Okay. I think we're okay. We're gonna take it a little bit easier now because I had, I'll look on the video to see the speed I was going, but I think I was probably going maybe like 30, maybe like 30 miles an hour. So yeah, we're gonna take it real easy even slower coming back through these back roads because these roads aren't really treated so um yeah these roads are not treated so you want to take it nice and smooth and nice and easy back through here okay so my gopro is out of battery so i'm switching over to my phone here to film a little bit i'm on the highway now so i merged onto the highway which unfortunately i couldn't film because i mean obviously i'm shifting and driving and the power delivery is just like i said right before i went off the road like that earlier. Um, the power delivery is so linear, like the, the, it just doesn't drop off. And I can go all the way to Redline now and feel like I'm not losing anything. Where before I would get to Redline um, and when I went past about 5,500, I would feel like there was no, almost no point in staying in it and I should just shift. So I'm really encouraged by that. The car feels really good. So I'm gonna keep driving around up here and um, see what other observations we make and kind of like feel it out. So here we go. second gear here so I'm in second gear I'm gonna come in second gear around 2,000 so I'm gonna let it get to around three so second gear 3,000 and then floored Wow and I even short shifted a little bit but it just really really pulled really well so the question we're left at the end of this with is the question of whether it's worth it to spend $80 or $90 I think it's $80 on top of what you already have from Cobb for a different company's stage one or stage two, if you're doing that tune. And after driving the car around for the afternoon, I think it is. I think it absolutely is because the amount of, not just power and torque that you gain, I know there's dyno specs and everything out there, but I'm, I'm, I'm speaking surely, um, like subjectively from driving around, the car is definitely faster 
my pickup through second, third, and fourth, the way it goes, punches through those gears and just absolutely just holds such a linear line of power is different than the Cobb tune. And um, I think I think it's absolutely worth it. And I think that, especially for a guy like me that doesn't necessarily have all the money right now to go and do bolt-ons and go stage two and do an intake and do all the stuff that a lot of guys are doing, this is a great way to kind of take a stepping stone in between that season um, before you get to be able to do that and just get something that'll make your car a little bit faster to hold you over and get more used to it. The biggest thing I noticed when I went from the stock tune to the Cobb stage one tune was the throttle response and just the way the car actually drove at low speeds and at high speeds and of course the power like that was there too and that was different but the way the car actually behaved and the crazy thing about this tune is that the car actually behaves basically the same I think but the power is different the power band is different the way that the turbo kicks in and the way it just goes seamlessly from the torque to the turbo to the high end and just keeps pulling all the way through is definitely different than the Cobb tune so that's nice that this time around it wasn't necessarily the way the car drives or drives and the characteristics but instead it actually was more of the way um, the power is delivered and the kind of power you get out of the car so I'm pleasantly surprised. I look forward to looking um, to putting it to use at the track next month at the track cross event at the refrigerator bowl. So we're going to see how it does on that. But after the afternoon, I'm pretty, pretty pleased with it and pretty happy. As always, like and subscribe and stay in tune and stay in touch with what I'm doing. Thank you for the love and the support. Um, like I kind of alluded to, the next video will definitely be the February refrigerator roll track cross on February 9th. We're having that event, so I'm hoping that I do well, at least in class and hopefully overall, of course, now that I have this MA performance tune. Haha, <laughs> um, Yeah, so thank you for everything. Like and subscribe, stay in touch, and I'll see you next video. Peace.